Do you know or do you ever wonder how Father's Day got started? It all started because a lady wanted to thank her father for all he had done for her and her family. The first Father's Day in the United States was celebrated in Spokane, Washington on June 19, 1910. It was proposed by Mrs. John B. Dodd in 1909. It wasn't until 1966 that Father's Day was declared a national holiday in the U.S. and it wasn't until 1972 that the special day happened every day. Yes, Father's Day are, fathers are very special even though they're not perfect all the time and do make mistakes. We should forgive them just as the Heavenly Father forgives us. And not all fathers make good dads, but nonetheless, they're still our fathers. No matter how old you get, your dad is your dad. Sometimes you may think you know more than he does, but you don't. Here are a list of 10 things that you will most likely never hear a father say. Number 10. Well, how about that? I'm lost. Looks like we'll have to stop and ask for directions. Number 9. You know, Pumpkin, now that you've uh, you're 13, you'll be ready for unchaperoned card dates. Won't that be fun? Number eight. I noticed that all your friends have a certain hostile attitude. I like that. Number seven. Here's a credit card and the keys to my new car. Go have some fun and go crazy. Number six. What do you mean you want to play football? Figure skating is not good enough for you, son? Number five. Your mother and I are going away for the weekend. You might want to consider throwing a wild party while we're gone. Number four. Well, I don't know what's wrong with your car. Probably one of those doohickey things. You know. That makes it run or something? Just have it towed to the mechanic and pay whatever he asks. Number three. No son of mine is going to live under this roof without an earring. Now quit your belly aching and let's get to the mall. Number two. What you mean you want to go get a job for? I make plenty of money for you to spend. And the number three, number one thing you'll never hear a dad say. What do I want for Father's Day? Ah, uh, don't worry about that. It's no big deal. Actually, they might say this, but they don't mean it. So if your dad has passed and he's no longer with, with you, we want to say a special prayer for you. And don't forget that we do have a Heavenly Father that cares and loves us no matter what. So if you don't have a dad with you, or he's not around all the time, or even if you do have one that's around all the time, God is the Father of all fathers. He's there when your father can't be.